Mel Haber is truly a one-of-a-kind personality. We hope you will enjoy this insight into the boss. He is best known for his quick wit, thousands of stories, and, of course, his smile that is never-ending. Mr. Haber, uh, what is your favorite Frank Sinatra story? You know, everybody's got a lot of Sinatra stories. He was very prevalent in this town, very high profile. The story I like best is when I first opened the restaurant, Mr. Sinatra came in. At that time, my son was parking cars. And as I heard the story, the maitre d' went up to Mr. Sinatra and said, Mr. Sinatra, the owner's son would be honored if you would take a picture with him. And allegedly, Mr. Sinatra was in his cups and came up with a very nasty answer, like, I'll break his back. So that means he's not taking a picture. Well, I was always afraid to ask Frank Sinatra to take a picture. Over the years, I had my picture taken with every celebrity in the world that, that I was lucky enough that came into the restaurant. But I was never going to ask Frank Sinatra for a picture. In those days, Palm Springs was a small town. It was only like three photographers that did all the events. And every photographer in town knew I wanted my picture taken with Sinatra. Well, I get invited to a very important party. It's President Ford's 31st wedding anniversary. And the only reason, to be honest with you, that I was invited to the party was not because I was a big shot, but the man hosting the party was an insurance agent who I had just given my business to. So I got invited more as a customer than as a local uh, VIP or celebrity. And I take that night as my date, a lady that I am dating for the first time. It's a blind date. The lady ultimately became my wife. But we're on our first date. It was such an important event that I went out and I, instead of renting a tuxedo, I actually bought one. So this was President Ford's 31st wedding anniversary. And I walk into this insurance agent's home where the party was being held. And as I walked in, the photographer who knew me said, Mel, tonight is your night. You get next to Sinatra tonight, and I will get your picture. Well, every celebrity in the world was there. Everybody's saying hello, and I'm standing with this lady. We're having a cocktail. And Frank Sinatra walks in. He sees me and gives me a wave and says, hi, and walks around. At that point, the photographer signals me to get next to Sinatra. So I tell the lady I'm with who I barely know, do me a favor, go stand over by the shrimp table. I'll be back in a few minutes. And Sinatra walks over someplace, and I get next to him, and the photographer gives me a thumbs up, and I get next to Sinatra, and I smile. And with that, somebody calls Frank, and he turns around. This goes on for like 20 or 25 minutes. Every time Frank Sinatra stops, the photographer goes like this. I get next to Sinatra. I smile like this, and somebody calls Frank, and he turns away. If Mr. Sinatra would have stopped short, I would have broken my nose. And I am chasing him all over the place. At this point, I'm guessing the girl must have eaten 100 shrimp, and she doesn't have a clue what's going on. Well, finally, Sinatra is talking to another man. Sinatra is here. The other man is here. I pop up in the middle, and we get the picture. Okay? So I finally have my picture taken next to Frank Sinatra. Now there's an aftermath to the story. I was the president of a very important charity in town, and we were the beneficiary of getting money from the big golf tournament called the Bob Hope Golf Tournament in Palm Springs, which gave money to many charities. But before they gave money, an ambassador from the Bob Hope Tournament would visit the individual charities to interview them before they gave them any money. So I get a call from one day, I get a call one day from a local philanthropist by the name of Ray Kaiser. And Ray Kaiser calls me up and he says, Mel, I got to come over and talk to you about your charity. When is it convenient for you? And we make a date for lunch. And he comes in and he says, you know, I see your picture every day. I have your picture hanging in my office. I said, Mr. Kaiser, why would you have my picture hanging in your office? And he said, don't you remember that day that you, I, and Frank were having that conversation at the Ford party? The end of the story is, he thought I was part of the conversation. So as you look at this picture, you will understand that I am only an intruder and not part of the conversation. Very interesting. Now we have the name of the, the unknown. I've been asked many times. 
the Mr. restaurant. Mr. Ray Kaiser has since passed away. He was a big philanthropist from Chicago and served as an ambassador for the Bob Hope Classic Tournament. Thank you, Mr. Haber. Thank you.